So first of all, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can solve this particular stuttering issue by disabling the NVIDIA overlay. In the previous video, I said that this stuttering was due to the driver, which is unfortunately not correct, at least for this particular issue. I started on some newer drivers and had the stuttering. I then used Display Driver Uninstaller to clean out the driver along with GeForce Experience and clean installed the older, reportedly superior driver and then repeated my testing. I had not played any flat games in a while, but after recording that previous video, I installed one and I wanted the Nvidia overlay, so I logged into GeForce Experience and enabled it. The next day I went back into VR, still with the apparently superior older driver and I noticed that the stuttering was back, but thankfully the overlay was my first guess at a culprit and its effects are demonstrated in this video. Here I am using the latest driver at the time of recording, which is 45730, and with the overlay disabled, performance is great. I test this by holding my hands in front of my face and rotating left and right at the hips. I do this because I think these types of performance issues are most obvious on the hands, and this is a clear way of seeing it. Before I started this testing, I already had the overlay enabled, and that was the cause of my troubles. You don't think about the NVIDIA overlay when playing VR games because you don't use it, but simply having it enabled is enough to cause problems. So now let's see what happens when enabling the overlay. I simply toggle it on in GeForce Experience, wait a few seconds for the change to settle, and then I tab back into the game to make sure the game has focus, because some games perform better when they have focus, and the difference is quite clear you see doubling of the hands that was not present before, which is stuttering. The reason each of these segments is so long is to try to ensure that the problem does not exist with the overlay off, and to see how often it occurs with the overlay on. Thankfully the fix is quite easy, you just disable the overlay, but this issue is disappointing to see from Nvidia. Nvidia is always the first to support new Steam VR features, Whenever new reprojection techniques have been released, they're always spotted first on NVIDIA graphics. For some reason, it takes months before they work with Radeons. NVIDIA has real-time refresh rate switching for the index, and they have VRSS, and their attention to VR has made them a much better buy for VR gaming. So issues like this are quite disappointing and a bit of a setback. Thankfully, it's an easy fix now that we know the cause, but I do wonder how this slips past their QA. Perhaps the testers cannot be bothered logging into GeForce Experience now that NVIDIA forces a login to use it, so the overlay does not get used. Wouldn't surprise me, just about nobody liked that change. Anyway, just for good measure, I turn the overlay back off again here and do another stretch of testing just to show that with the overlay off it is fine and it is all working. But that's the end of the voiceover now. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if this works for you or if it doesn't because I am curious and see you.